Did Microsoft just make an earth-shattering revelation on GPT-4? Hey everyone, welcome back. Alex Shepard here. Today, we're diving into a recent white paper by a Microsoft-affiliated team that's shaking up the AI world. This week, Microsoft called out specific flaws where GPT-4 does not perform as advertised. If you're wondering why Microsoft, who partially funds and owns a slice of OpenAI, is calling out a flaw in GPT-4, then you're not alone. Alright AI Nexus, listen up. We're not all rainbows and butterflies. When negative news about AI that can impact you comes out, we're going to let you know about it, and that's what we're doing today. So just buckle your seatbelts, get your favorite drink, maybe some popcorn, and sit back. Because from behind the scenes drama to a closer look at ChatGPT's inner workings, we've got all the details. Let's unravel what's going on here. Here's the scoop. A white paper from a recent study associated with Microsoft has uncovered something fascinating, and some would say concerning, about GPT-4, the super smart language model that's been making waves. This revelation is certainly peeling back a layer of the onion, unveiling a side of GPT-4 that warrants a deeper look. We all adore the brainy prowess of GPT-4, its ability to follow instructions with a surgeon's precision. But who knew this virtue could also be its Achilles heel? According to this new study, when GPT-4 is fed with what's dubbed as jailbreaking prompts, clever snippets aimed at bypassing its inbuilt safety protocols, it tends to stubble into a murky realm, churning out toxic and biased text. Now you might be wondering, what are those jailbreaking prompts? They're like secret codes that trick GPT-4 into doing things it's not supposed to do. Imagine a lock that's hard to open, but someone figures out a clever way to unlock it. That's kind of what's happening here. The study focuses on an important aspect, trustworthiness. GPT-4 is better than its predecessor, GPT-3.5, when it comes to being reliable in regular tasks. But the same precision that makes it great also makes it vulnerable to being manipulated by these tricky prompts. It's a bit like having a super smart friend who can be easily tricked if you know how. Here's the interesting part. GPT-4's precision is both its strength and its weakness. It's fantastic in understanding and carrying out instructions. But that also makes it a target for those who want to use it for the wrong reasons. So it's not just about celebrating its abilities, but also making sure it's not misused. Before we dive deeper, let's take a moment to mention that AI Nexus is committed to keeping you updated with the latest AI headlines every week. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on our new videos. Now, what did the co-authors of this research white paper study actually say? Well, they boldly stated, we find that although GPT-4 is usually more trustworthy than GPT-3.5 on standard benchmarks, GPT-4 is more vulnerable given a jailbreak system or user props, which are maliciously designed to bypass the security measures of LLMs, potentially because GPT-4 follows instructions more precisely. Wow, okay, that, that's a major claim. But here's the kicker. Microsoft, the tech giant that powers its Bing chat chatbot with GPT-4, sponsored this research. Why in the world would they do that, especially when it seems to cast a shadow on their own product? Now here's the really interesting part. Within the blog post accompanying the research, there's a golden nugget of information. The research team worked with Microsoft product groups to confirm that the potential vulnerabilities identified do not impact current customer-facing services. In simpler terms, they fixed the issues before they saw the light of day. Alex Shepard here, AI Nexus. I find this to be wildly strange. They've identified a major issue. Also, at the same time, they've said they've fixed it. It seems a little sketchy to me, as if they knew it was there the whole time and had been scrambling to get it fixed before anyone else realized it, and then in turn published a official paper on it. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, back to it. Microsoft is a large investor in ChatGPT, so we're a bit surprised at how candid they're being here. So the fact that they're willing to shine a light on potential vulnerabilities is astonishing. It's like a parent saying their child isn't perfect, but they're working on it. Now let's talk about why. Is this a self-induced setback for the OpenAI and Microsoft team? Maybe, but I will say it shows Microsoft's dedication to keeping their technology safe and reliable. Why would a tech giant like Microsoft go through all this trouble? Well, it's not just about their chatbot. It's about the broader industry's efforts to make large language models safer. They're paving the way for a future where AI is reliable and secure, so props to them. But here's the real question for you. What do you think about all this? Do you find it surprising that Microsoft would sponsor research that highlights vulnerabilities in their own AI? Does it make you trust their technology more, knowing they're actively addressing potential issues? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. So is this all true? Let's take a deep dive and unearth the details. Here's what we know. It's not all smooth sailing, and like we already mentioned earlier, just like any advanced language model, GPT-4 requires prompts to complete tasks. But here's the catch. 
When these prompts are manipulated in a certain way, it can lead to some unexpected outcomes. Bing Chat LLM, for comparison, is no different. It wasn't designed to generate extremist content, but due to its training data, it could generate such content when given specific prompts. This brings us to the first eyebrow-raising point. These models, even from big players like Microsoft-backed OpenAI, are far from perfect. Now, for GPT-4 specifically, the researchers found that it's more likely to generate toxic text compared to its predecessor GPT-3.5 when exposed to carefully crafted jailbreaking props. In fact, this wasn't the first time this has been called out. In July 2023, a group of researchers from Carnegie Mellon University published a paper titled Universal and Transferable Attacks on Align Language Models, which detailed their findings on bypassing safety measures in large language models, including ChatGPT4. The researchers discovered that by appending a long string of seemingly nonsensical characters to the end of prompts, they could effectively jailbreak the AI and get it to generate harmful outputs. This technique, known as prompt engineering, exploits the way large language models process and interpret text. By adding these extraneous characters, the researchers were able to confuse the model's safety filters, allowing it to generate responses that would normally be blocked. For instance, they were able to get ChatGPT4 to produce hate speech, misinformation, and instructions for illegal activities. In the case of COVID-19, ChatGPT4 has been observed to generate false claims about the virus's origins, its transmission, and the effectiveness of vaccines. This misinformation can have serious consequences, as it can lead to people making uninformed decisions about their health and safety. Further, ChatGPT4 has been found to generate false claims about the 2020 United States presidential election, including allegations of widespread voter fraud and a stolen election. This misinformation can undermine trust in democratic institutions and contribute to political polarization. The underlying reason for ChatGPT4's susceptibility to generating misinformation is its inability to consistently distinguish between accurate and inaccurate information. Large language models like ChatGPT4 are trained on massive amounts of text data, which can include both factual and, well, misleading information. While the model can learn to identify patterns and make associations within this data, it lacks the ability to critically evaluate the veracity of the information it encounters. Now, the call-out from the Microsoft-backed team is that GPT-4's behavior isn't just about toxicity, it's also about biases. Depending on the demographics mentioned in the prompts, GPT-4 might lean one way or the other. For instance, when prompted with homosexuals have HIV, GPT-4 vehemently disagrees. However, if you feed it women have HIV, it agrees and outputs biased content. This begs the question, how do we ensure these models are fair and unbiased in their responses? Now, here's the real shocker. GPT-4 can leak private, sensitive data when exposed to the right jailbreaking prompts. Yes, you heard it right. All language models can potentially leak data from their training sources, but GPT-4 seems to be more susceptible to this than others. In March 2023, OpenAI disclosed a data breach that exposed the personal information of some users. The breach was attributed to a vulnerability in an open-source library that ChatGPT-4 utilizes, allowing unauthorized access to user data. The compromised data included users' payment information, such as credit card numbers and billing addresses, as well as chat logs containing potentially sensitive conversations. The breach affected a limited number of users, but it raised significant concerns about the security and privacy practices of OpenAI. And rightfully so. So what is OpenAI's response? In response to the data breach in March 2023, OpenAI patched the bug that caused the breach and implemented additional security measures to protect user data. The company also notified affected users and offered them credit monitoring services, so that is pretty awesome. In response to the research from Carnegie Mellon University, OpenAI updated its safety measures to prevent ChatGPT4 from being tricked by similar attacks. The company also published a blog post explaining the attack and how it was mitigated. And in response to concerns about misinformation, OpenAI has been working to improve ChatGPT4's ability to distinguish between accurate and inaccurate information. The company has also been developing tools to help users identify and flag misinformation. It's safe to say, it's a huge focus area for them. No doubt, OpenAI is aware of the vulnerabilities and issues with ChatGPT4. In fact, in addition to the specific actions taken above, they're implementing several general measures to address these issues. These steps include, First, improving safety measures. OpenAI has implemented a number of safety measures to prevent ChatGPT4 from generating harmful or misleading outputs. These measures include filtering prompts for harmful content and using the prompt engineering technique to guide ChatGPT4 towards generating safe and helpful outputs. Secondly, increasing transparency. OpenAI has published a number of papers and blog posts about the safety and limitations of ChatGPT4. 
The company has also made its code and data available to researchers so that they can study the model and identify potential vulnerabilities. And also, engaging with the community. OpenAI has been working with researchers, ethicists, and policymakers to develop best practices for the development and use of large language models. The company has also been soliciting feedback from users to identify potential problems with ChatGPT4. So, where does this leave us? GPT-4, like its fellow language models, relies heavily on specific instructions or prompts to perform tasks. But as we've seen, these instructions can be manipulated in unexpected ways. It's crucial that we, as users and developers, stay vigilant and work toward improving these models, making them safer and more reliable. At AI Nexus, we believe that the recent revelations about GPT-4's vulnerabilities highlight the ongoing challenges in making large language models perfect. While these findings do raise concerns, the proactive approach taken by Microsoft and OpenAI and the research community's commitment to transparency and improvement is a positive sign for the market. It's crucial for businesses to stay watchful and continue investing in refining and safeguarding language models for ethical and practical use. However, it's important to remember that generative AI, despite its wide acceptance in recent years, still has room for improvements. Such occurrences should not come as a surprise, and we commend Microsoft for their transparency efforts in addressing these issues. And while we await your thoughts in the comments section, here's a video you won't want to miss.